Hi, everybody. It is uh, Monday, October 11th, uh, the start of a new week, almost getting to the end of another year. <laughs> uh, it kind of blows my mind, that, that's for sure. Uh, I'm excited today. Um, we, we start our immediate family rehearsals uh, in a few hours. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done this morning around the house. Uh, it is 7.40 right now in the morning. And um, I'll take care of stuff and then head out to our rehearsal. We'll be there all week, which is going to be great. I'm so excited about it. I can't tell you. It's going to be great to see the guys and be playing our music. Uh, I was uh, looking around at, at at more music to visit, and I came across a wonderful album that I that I had the great pleasure of working on with a dear friend, um, Mark Williamson. Uh, when I met Mark, I, it was we were working with Veronique Sanson on her first big tour that we did with the, the band that we ended up putting together, mostly um, guys out of L.A. Uh, well, not really, because um, and Neil Wilkinson was playing drums out of London, Marcus English, um, Helen um, Janaway was uh, also English. I guess it was quite a few. Hervé Leduc was... Um, from France, uh, the horn section. My, I, I guess I was one of the only ones from the States. My mistake. Um, but it was a great band. It's just an unbelievably great band. It had a great horn section with um, guys from L.A. Um, and um, we had some wonderful times touring with Vero. Vero is like one of the most astounding artists I've ever toured with and, and recorded with. Uh, and she's still going strong in France. I mean, she's kind of like if you took Joni Mitchell and Carol King and all of the, the great female singer-songwriters and rolled them into a big ball, you would have Vero on it. And it was really great uh, when I played in um, uh, Paris with uh, Judith Owen. Um, Vero came to the show and they hit it off great because very similar in, in their musical approach to the piano and vocals and writing. Um, but I, I eventually I ended up doing a, a project with Mark, uh, with um, Michael Thompson and John J.R. Robinson called TRW and played some tracks on their album. And then Mark ended up moving down to Nashville. And, and over the past number of years, um, Mark's been dealing with some very profound health issues. Uh, I haven't seen him in, in quite a quite a long time, but um, he uh, he worked with uh, a gentleman named Chris Eaton down in Nashville, and they became pretty big songwriters and artists in the uh, contemporary Christian music scene. Um, when I worked with Mark, everything was was still uh, well. It, it was even the contemporary Christian stuff is very pop driven, uh, but. Uh, it was just always a, a treat to work with this guy. It's such a good voice and such a good songwriter and good keyboard player, guitar player. So I'm going to just play a couple of songs here. Um, the one I'm going to play right now, the first one, is called A Little Loving. And it was, it was the album was arranged uh, and produced by uh, Mark and Russ Freeman. And the band on this one is uh, myself, the wonderful Mike Baird on drums. And Mike has... Uh, uh, a, a really fun um, YouTube channel now. I think it's uh, Mike's. Oh God, what's the name of it? it look, look him up. B a i r d. It, it's it's like his drum cubby. God, I, I'm blanking. I I've been watching, but he goes through all all his drums and talks about drums and and stuff. And it's it's great. Mike's got a lot of personality and it's a lot of fun. Sorry, I don't have the name on the tip of my tongue. I just watched it the other day. Um, I'll, I'll mention it again. Um, but, um, so we have this Mike Baird on drums, myself. Um, Mark's playing keys on this, and Russ Freeman is playing keys, electric and acoustic guitar. Uh, Vince Cross arranged the strings, and the strings on this are Bill Thorpe, not Billy Thorpe, Bill Thorpe, um, Anthony Moffat, Katie... Um, Katie um, Heller, I believe was her name, and Sue Dory, and the background vocalists on this um, are Mark singing, uh, Lance Ellington and Annie McCraig. Uh, this is a song called A Little Loving. 
is, I'm sorry to seem scattered here. It's really early. I just haven't had much sleep tonight and getting ready for a busy day. So here we go, a little loving. <laughs>
He's really, really good. I, I really miss him. I'm, it breaks my heart that he's been dealing with some these health issues. I wish him all the best. But, um, yeah, it was a joy to be on the road with him. He just sang his ass off every night with Vero. It was really great. Uh, and if, if I didn't say, I can't remember, it, it, the album is Mark Williamson, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S-O-N, and... Time Slipping By is the title of the album from 1994. Um, here's a song called Gotta Be a Better Way. Um, and this is Mark on keys, myself, Mike Baird, uh, Dave Cook on acoustic piano and organ, and Eric Marenthal on sax. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll tell you, I do love playing with Mike Baird. Mike is such, is such a great drummer, and uh, we haven't had a chance to play in a long time, but we used to do all of Mike Post TV shows practically together, lots and lots of album projects. He is just a fabulous drummer. Um, okay, the last one here I'm going to do, because I'm going to get running here, is Prayer for the Children. I think this is the one that put together a massive choir, like a who's who choir for this. I looked at them, the list was, was huge. But it's myself and Mike Baird, Michael Thompson on guitar, um, and I think he's also playing um, some like baritone guitar, maybe some electric sitar. This was arranged by um, Mark Williamson, Michael Thompson, and Russ Freeman. So this is Prayer for the Children. I'm going to see if there's a little, any other listing on here of any kind of crediting. Um, no, it doesn't seem to be. Some of the stuff gets vague to see. So here we go. Prayer for the children. <laughs>
project. I really, really loved working with Mark, and he's really good. My heart, my thoughts are with him right now. Uh, I'm going to get running. Uh, I've got uh, lots to do. Get ready to take care of some things and head off to rehearsal. Yes, yes. And I'll take some uh, videos at, at the rehearsal. We'll see. We'll see what I can get away with because we'll be working. Um, I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful week ahead. Um, take good care. Um, be safe. Um, just uh, be smart. It's... <laughs> These, these times are by no means behind us of this craziness. So uh, take good care of yourself. Give a thought to those people. You know, be good to people. When you go into a, a store and there's a clerk working there, you know, just give them some space and, you know, give, be thoughtful of everybody because it's a, it's a difficult time for everyone and you know, the medical field especially. You know, my heart goes out. They they get no time, no breaks from this. This is just this Groundhog Day every day for them. I'd be glad when that when that movie's over. So take good care. I will see you tomorrow. Find another little adventure to travel on. And um, till then, just uh, take good care.